Hi, welcome back to Grow New Plants. So today I've got the brown turkey figs that I did for my fig cutting test where I used the no rooting hormone and then I used three different levels of rooting hormone. And they are, I looked it up and they're about 11 weeks old. So they're, they should be pretty well developed. I could have taken these and upplanted them a little bit sooner, but I'm leaving them in here because I wanted the roots to get really developed so we could look at the roots and see what the development is on them. So we're gonna pull them out one test group at a time and we're gonna expose the roots and I'm probably gonna destroy some of the roots and I'm still gonna attempt to pot them up and put them into pots and I think they'll probably be okay. But I'm going to not be as gentle as I normally would with them and repotting them and keeping the roots together. I wanna to expose the roots and see what the roots look like to see if there's any difference between the type of rooting hormones. And then also I did the rooting hormones and I did the cut test or the cut on the bottom of the cutting too. So let's get them, I'll get them separated out and we'll get the first group laid out on the table and then we'll start exposing and see what they look like. Okay, here's the first group. So these are seven of them that I did with no rooting hormone at all. These four right here, I did not cut the bottom of the cutting and these three over here I did. So we're gonna start out, we'll take a look at the four. These basically, no rooting hormone, no cut, they basically were just stuck in the pots. Nothing put on them, no cuts made on them. Let's take a look, see what the roots look like on them. And you can see the growth is pretty similar in all of them. This one, it, it rooted up from the ground. This one is still a little bit small. And I also had three different groups too with uh, small cuttings and medium sized cuttings and then a thick cutting. So I'm just gonna very gently See if I can keep from getting under the camera here. I'm gonna shake the soil loose on this. So it's got a nice set of roots. And it appears that the majority of the roots, put my glasses on so I can see better. Looks like the majority of the roots came out right there. There's the bottom of the cutting there. So the majority of the roots came out right there at the bottom of the cutting and went around. So we'll take that one, we'll sit it over here, and then I'll up pot these off camera because it's going to take forever. So that was that was the uh, that was probably that was what I'd consider one of the thick cuttings. This one is going to be one of the thinner cuttings. Uh, not near as many roots on this one. Broke one root off, but still they all came off at the, at the bottom of the cutting. So the thicker cutting for that one, it definitely had better roots. This is another thick cutting. I had four in this group. This was the only group that had four in it. And same thing. You can see the bottom of the cutting there. All the roots came out right around the bottom of the cutting. So that's pretty good roots on that one too. And then this one here was a tip cutting. So that was what I consider medium. Those are both thick, so this one is a, is a tip cutting. We'll see what the tip cutting did. It's got a lot of growth on top. I tried to let these dry out pretty good. Well, the tip cutting actually did pretty good. And this one has got it's got a lot of roots, but the majority of the roots came out of the bottom, but then it has also quite a few spots where the roots came out up on the top. Okay, so that's our first group. And again, that was uh, no cut made on the cutting. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and do the ones with the cut too so we can compare them before I plant them all up. So these here, These here, no rooting hormone, but I did make a cut on the bottom. Now this one here, it did not root from the cutting itself, but it shot up a cutting, I guess, from a node that was underground. And boy, that one has hardly any roots at all. It's got one big root on it. Now, there's the cut, and it's got one little root coming out of that cut, and then the other roots came off from the opposite side. So. I don't really know if that made any difference. That one's probably not going to survive. I probably won't up pot that one. That was the thick cutting. 
So this is a tip cutting with no rooting hormone, but I did cut the bottom of the cutting. And this has got a nice set of roots on it. So it's got roots. The tip cutting seemed to make more roots up higher. So let's see if I can find the cut that I made. So there's the cut. And it's got one little root coming out of that cut, but it's got even more roots coming out on the backside. So I honestly, so far, I haven't seen anything that says that making the cut really does much of anything. And this one is, I guess, a uh, what I consider a medium size cutting. Again, with no rooting hormone, but made a cut. So there's the cut on this one, and it's got a it's got a decent amount of roots that came out of the cut. But it's got just as much that came out on the backside where the where there was no cut. So so far the cuts, the where I made the cuts may actually made roots, but not any more than what the other side of the plant did or the other side of the cutting did. And so far the the tip cuttings tend to make roots farther up the cutting than the thick cuttings do. So this one I'm probably not going to bother with replanting. These here, I'm gonna go ahead and pop back up and we'll come back and look at the next group. Okay, so I went ahead and undid these. I'm gonna try and keep this video because it's gonna be a long video anyway. So I went ahead and just pulled them out and then we'll just take a look at them. So these are the ones with the root tone, which is the lowest uh, strength of the rooting hormone out there. And these are the uncut ones. So this one was a, a decent amount of roots. Uh, it's got a shoot coming out the side there. So, but it's a, it's a decent amount of roots, but not great. And then this was a thinner cutting. And again, it's, it's got a pretty good amount of roots, but nothing super great. And it's got a couple roots trying to come out up at the top. So those will help the plant. And then this one again was the tip cutting. And so far tip cuttings are blowing away everything. So, and it's got, again, it's got a massive amount of roots coming out the bottom. And then it's got roots coming out up the stem too. So those are really not a, honestly, the no rooting hormone so far was a little bit better probably on these than what these did. Uh, this is again, the thick cutting and it's the one that was cut. And there's the cut and the roots of this one actually all came out of the bottom and then it's got a little bit of a root coming up right here by this stem. So. The, again, the cut really didn't seem to really do a whole lot. And here's the cut on this one. It's got one root coming out where the cut is, tons of roots coming out in other spots too. So the cut really does, so far, the cut really doesn't seem to make any difference. It's doing just as well without the cut as it's doing with the cut. And this one here just did not do good at all. So I got one, again, I got one. This one is kind of shaky. I'll probably go ahead and plant it up. Uh, but not a, honestly, not a lot of difference between the, the no rooting hormone and using the root tone, which was the lowest uh, strength of the rooting hormone. So I'll get these planted up and we'll get the next group out. Okay, so now I have the Clonex group. And so far, the Clonex group has more roots than any of the groups so far. So. It looks like the, the no rooting hormone and the root tone, which was the lowest level, probably didn't really make a whole lot of difference. So far, it looks like the Clonex is making a pretty good difference. So this one's got a massive amount of roots coming out on one side, a few roots coming out from higher up. That was the thick cutting. Uh, this is the tip cutting again, and massive amount of roots on the bottom and on quite a few roots coming up the stem. That's one thing I have figured out out of this that I didn't never knew before. And this one's got a decent amount of roots, but not great, but this one's strong enough that I can up pot it and it'll be survive. Okay, and then we get over to the cut ones. Now this is pretty interesting. So I looked at these before I started filming and this right here is the cut area. And it put out tons of roots on the cut area. 
Now granted, it's got a lot of other roots coming out on the other side too, but the cut definitely produced a lot of roots in combination with the Clonex rooting hormone. And that's true on all three of these. So here is the cut on this one, and it's completely, the cut's completely covered in roots. And then it's got some other roots coming out, and other, but there's more roots on the cut in combination with the Clonex. So, so far, the Clonex with a cut gives me my best results. And then uh, this one is just, this is tip cutting again. And there's the cut. There's the cut right there. And it's got absolutely covered in roots. That entire cut area produced roots. And then it produced a few roots on the backside. And then again, the tip cutting, they it produced more roots up the stem. So, so far, the uh, Clonex with the cut is producing, I don't make sure you can see that, see them all compared to each other. These three here are by far the best group of anything that I've looked at so far. So, so far Clonex with a cut produces really good root systems. So I'm going to get these potted up and then we'll come back and look at the last group, which is the Hormadone 3. Okay, so here we are with the Hormadone 3. So kind of mixed results on the Hormadone 3. This one was probably one of the nicer ones out of the whole bunch. And this was a non-cut one with a Hormadone 3, put out good new growth and just covered in roots. And most of the roots came from around the base of the cutting. Uh, really no, no roots up the side of, up the stem of the cutting. That was the thick one. The thin one is kind of shaky. It didn't really do all that great. It's got like two or three good roots coming out on each side, but it's still good enough that I go and plant that one up. And then this one is the stem cutting again. The stem cutting did great. So, so far, definitely my preference is gonna be stem cuttings from now on for cuttings because they all root so much better. And the other good thing about stem cuttings as opposed to this one, when you go to plant it up, you plant it up this way, your stems grow on that way. If you wanna get them tree form, you gotta, you know, when you transplant them, you gotta do this to get them to go straight up. Stem cuttings, you know, it comes out of the top. So you plant it straight up. The tree's gonna, if you like tree form fig trees, the stem cuttings are better because they grow straight up. And then once they get to the height you want them to, then you can cut them and let them branch out. And you have a, you know, a nice trunk coming up before it branches out. But so the stem cuttings are working great. So with the Hormadone 3, here's my cut and it put out a couple roots right on the cut and really the majority right at the base of the cutting and then at the cut too. So it looks like if you're using the rooting hormone, the higher strength rooting hormones, the cut is definitely an advantage. So here's one here and there's a few roots coming out across the bottom all the way around. But again, here's the cut and it's completely full of roots off of the cut. And this is my stem cutting. Again, the stem cutting has got roots up the stem and at the base. And let me see if I can find my, yep. So it's got roots coming out on both sides, but here's the, here's the, the cutting or the cut that I made and it's full of roots. So I guess in conclusion on this thing, the, they all rooted but out of the first group, I had one or two that I didn't plant up. Out of the root tone, which was the lowest rooting hormone strength, I had, I think, two that I did not root up or that I did not pot up. With the Clonex and the Hormadone 3, I planted everything up. Everything should do just fine and survive just fine. Uh, the cut seems to work better with the, either the Clonex or the Hormadone 3, the stronger rooting hormones, the cut seems to really work. It, and you could, every one of them with those two, with the Clonex and the Hormadone 3, every one of them that I did a cut on, uh, it, that cut completely filled up with roots. So I think the, the, from here on out, I will probably go with either the Clonex or the Hormadone 3, and I will make a cut on the bottom. And I think that gives me my best shot at, at roots. You know, this one, this one was the Hormadone 3 without a cut, and it's, it's probably one of the prettiest ones out of the whole group. But... Overall, the cuts produced roots with the stronger rooting hormones. So that's my conclusion with it. 
I know this wasn't a completely scientific test, but uh, I tried to get as good of a sample as I could across it. So out of this, stronger rooting hormones definitely are better. Uh, either the Clonex or the Hormadone 3, either one will work. And the cut, when you're using the strong and rooting hormones, the cut is definitely an advantage. And then the other conclusion that I found out of this for sure is that the stem cuttings, for some reason, the stem cuttings want to root up the stem. And so it's not just one mass of roots at the bottom, they're rooting up the stems too. And almost every single one of the stem cuttings had additional roots farther up the stem too. So that's my conclusion. Get stem cuttings, use either Clonex or Hormadone 3, and then go ahead and make that little cut on the bottom like you, I did in the first video. If you hadn't watched the first video, I'll put a link to that up at the top so you can watch it too. I appreciate you watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Thank you.